could you have expected the show to last as long as it did or the legacy it had? And then also, as you were like living through it, what were your thoughts like, when you saw it? It's, it's just keeps going. <laughs> how, was, how was that? It was crazy because I remember I remember filming the pilot vaguely because it was almost 20 years ago. It was 21. It was 19 and a half years ago. It was in like March or something. 2005. Um, oh, now you can hear me. Have you been able to hear me this whole time? Oh my god, I'm new. Um, so I remember sitting in my director's chair at the pilot. And Eric Kripke sitting next to me, and we're talking about Halo, because we both played Halo at the time. And we're just chatting, and then he said something about when you come back. And I was like, come back here? And he's like, yeah, we have a demo, totally, you know. I'm like, My flaming body burns this house down. And he's like, yeah, it's supernatural. And I was like, <laughs> and sure enough, the, you know, I went to the, the pilot screening and all this stuff, and this, everyone was very sweet. I'm like, oh, they're all being so cute about me, like, coming back. <laughs> and like, episode eight or nine, here I was. I was like, oh my god, seriously? I'm like, oh, but I'm a ghost. That makes sense. And then, so every time I got a script, it was only once or twice a year for the first seven seasons, I was shocked every time. <laughs> And then after season seven, I played a character called Eve, which was the mother of all evil creatures. And I was like, okay. And people would always say, like season eight, season nine, they're like, when are you coming back? I'm like, dude, there is no possible iteration of me coming back anymore. Like, I've been a ghost, I've been a hallucination, I've been an evil something in heaven, and then, I don't know, I've been a different character, I've been, I've been flashbacks, I've been everything. Like, it just doesn't make sense. Until, unless, the last episode of the show, John and Mary are going to come back to life, and because it's supernatural, it has to be sad, so we're not going to be able to know who the boys are, but we get to live. That was my prediction. So, flash forward to season 11, and they called me in March, and they're like, do you want to be in the finale of the show? And I was like, oh, I knew it. <laughs> <laughs> And I was like, yeah, so, but they, you know, you don't get the script until like 10 days before, and you don't know anything that's happening. Um, even when you're on it, never mind when you're just coming back and so on. And I was having, uh, I was at a barbecue with one of the producers, and I was like, oh, the show's finally ending, the 11 seasons is great. Um, what are you gonna do next? And he was like, what do you mean? <laughs> and I was like, does he not know? <laughs> And I was like, well, the, the show is ending, so you'll probably have to work somewhere else. And he's like, it's not ending. I'm like, I don't know. I mean, I'm, I'm coming back for the finale. And he's like, of the season. And I'm like, what? And he's like, you're coming back next year. And I think I said, why? Every episode, I thought it was the end, not only for me, but for the show. Um, but every episode, I would skip to the end to see if I was still alive. And I am not the only one who does this. Because you never know. Apparently, Jim Beaver found out he was dying reading the script. He's like, what? And I think Mark Pellegrino, too. So, I went, after episode three, when they wrote me off to go traveling around, I went to Bob um, Singer, and I was like, listen, you and Andrew Dabb, you need to make me a promise right now. If you're killing me, you have to tell me. You can't let me read it. That's mean. And I'll be very upset. And then I won't come out of my trip. <laughs> and they promised. And so, then season 12, I was just, <laughs> I never left. I was just, <laughs> I just camped out. 
Um, and then season 13, a little bit less, but I was in the AU, so that made sense. And then season 14, I really think they didn't know what to do with Mary anymore. She's like, she won't cook. <laughs> she wants to have her own. Um, but I mean, I loved, I loved my arc, and I was so grateful, like six episodes to like 30 or something. Like, that was really amazing, an amazing experience. They wrote so much for me. It was an incredibly unexpected experience. And I don't think there's one person in this room that, unless you started watching it last year and knew the answer, would have predicted 15 seasons. Like, that's crazy. Um, but just so you know, in, in the spring of season 14, I was at the vet, and my dog, and her teeth clean. And the phone rings, and I'm like, oh, and it's, she's like, oh, it's Brigitte, I have Bob and Andrew for you. I'm like, okay. Yeah. <gasps> <laughs> oh, no. And they're like, well, hey. I'm like, mm. yeah. Like, we, we really just want to talk to you about the season, the direction we're going. And I'm like, is it death? Is the direction death? <laughs> and they're like, yes. <laughs> okay. They have to be on camera. And they're like, no, no, you can die off camera. <laughs> and they're like, you know, we just need a catalyst for the boys. I'm like, who kills me? Jack. I'm like, what? <laughs> God dang it. My kid. Um, so yeah, so it was all a surprise from season one. And season 12 was like something I never in a million years imagined happening. And it was like a dream every day. I was chasing it a bit, because they're like, have you ever fought? I'm like, what? They just sent someone to my house to try to train me. That went terribly. Um, so Mary, I felt like as Mary came back to life, I was chasing her, her art, or like learning her, right? And I don't think I really found my footing until halfway through the season in that episode at the Men of Letters with all the vampires. And she's like leading the show, and she's a general, and she's like, doing all this stuff. She still gets hit in the face by that guy with the, and knocked out in the storage room. Not her, right? Honestly. He got his in the end though. Um, such a cheap shot. But um, yeah, it was all a surprise and all a blessing and like a gift. Like I, I loved Mary and I know that she did a lot of things that made people mad, but sorry. <laughs> She did her best, and I, I loved going on that journey with her. Thank you. Hi. Hi. Hi, Sam. Thank you for being here with us. Thank you for being here with me, you guys. And um, my name is Erica, and there's so much wonderful music in the show. And if Mary had a theme song, whether it's classic rock or something present day, what would you think Mary's theme song would be? Well, it's on the nose, but I always say Christina Aguilera fighter. But I think, I, I mean, I should, I could ask this, so I should probably think about it sometimes. Um, I think Barracuda. Oh. Barracuda. <laughs> Thank you. That's now my new answer. Hi, over here. Hi, uh, my name is Kate. Hi, Kate. Um, I was just thinking, how do you, if you think that the characters played in 911 and the fire company could have put out the fire for the shelter house? <laughs> 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 it was fueled by demons. And I think they would have come in and seen a person on the ceiling and they would have been like, nope. <laughs> But if anybody could have, it would have been my firehouse. <laughs> Did they even call? Was there a fire department? There must have been. Yeah. Yes. And I don't think it burned the whole house down, right? No. Can you even imagine? You're like, mm. she was so surprised, she jumped to the ceiling and got stuck. <laughs> I can't explain that. And why did they arrest John? Did he immediately go on the run? I have questions. So, if anybody could have, it would have been my guys, but I don't think anybody could have. All right, I hear the band, so one last question. Thank you. Hi. Hi. Um, out of all the characters that you've played, which characters would you befriend in real life? 
Um, I think I would have liked, uh, her name was Jen, but you guys know her as Hawk. She had, she had, she was having none of it. At the, I don't know if they kept it all in the show, but Ross, this is on Friends, and Ross was just being his typical, like, weird self, and she was like, you're cute, but wow. God. Um, but enough that she still liked him. Um, let's see. Uh, I don't know. It's just a pressure. Pressure. Do you have one in mind? I mean, I feel like Mary would make a good pressure. Oh, yes. Mary, I'm sorry. That was, yes. Mary for sure. Um, but she's busy. <laughs> and we both travel so much. It would be hard. <laughs> I think Mary would be interesting. Billy. Is that my fault? It's my fault. Billy did it. Billy did it. <laughs> I just don't want any like. <laughs> Thank you so much. You guys are so generous and so kind.